Hi everyone. In this video, we're going to look at how to change the tyre and inner tube on the rear wheel of a Jungtron mini scooter. OK, let's get started. We'll begin by cutting the cable tie that holds the motor cable and the brake cable together. Next, unscrew the brake cable nut by hand and retrieve the small metal rod. Pull the cable back and lift it out. Now remove the rubber caps and unscrew the rear wheel nuts using an 18mm spanner. And there we can unscrew the screw that holds the drum brake in place with a 4mm Allen key. Be very careful when unscrewing this screw. There is a small washer on the right and two between the fork and the drum brake. They will fall when you take off the screw, so you can put your hand under the wheel to catch them. Now you just have to remove the spring washers on the left and right of the wheel. Use your fingers or a small flat screwdriver to unclip them. Personally, I find it easier to use small pliers. And now you can take off the back wheel and put it to the side of the scooter. Next, take off the valve cap and press in the middle to check there isn't any air left in the inner tube. After doing that, you can unscrew the six screws from the rim with a 4mm Allen key. You can now take everything out by pulling the tyre up. And press on the edges of the tyre to loosen it from the rim. Take off the two rim halves. Thank you. 
and take out the punctured inner tube. Now we can move on to fitting our new tyre and new inner tube. So I turn the motor the right way round and check the direction of rotation of the tyre on the side of the tyre, then place it next to the motor to make sure I've got it right. Next, I take my new slightly inflated inner tube and I fit it in the tyre with the valve pointing towards the left, so on the side with no brake. And if you want to buy new tyres for your Jultron Mini, you'll find all the useful links in the description below. You know how it works. Next, fit the first rim half in the tyre by moving the valve of the inner tube into place. And make sure to check that no part of the inner tube is touching the grey part of the rim so it doesn't get pinched when you close everything. Next, replace the second rim half on the tyre and align the holes of the two rims. And now I put the whole thing back around the motor. and fix the rim by screwing the six screws back on one by one. We can now inflate the new rear wheel of our Jultron Mini, and the recommended max pressure is 50 psi or 3.5 bars. Next, put the repaired rear wheel back on the fork. On the left side, the first spring washer must be pointing downwards and the second one must be installed the other way round. Then fit the nut by hand without tightening it too much. On the right side, there's nothing too complicated. The first spring washer must also be pointing downwards and the brake lever must simply be positioned towards the back of the wheel. Now that you have the rear wheel in positioned on the scooter, you can put the screw that holds the drum brake in place back on. 
and as I don't have very delicate fingers, I'm using a little technique to put the two little washers back on. So I place the screw well beyond the other side. Then I just use tweezers to put the other two washers on the end of my screw. And now I turn the drum brake against my screw and gently pull on the screw until the brake can pass through. And voila! You can now fix the brake. You can now tighten the two nuts on the wheel axe. Put the brake cable back into place and fix the cable on the drum lever and putting the cotter pin and nut back on. To readjust the brake, it's very easy. Just spin the wheel and listen out for the pads touching the wheel. If they aren't touching, continue to tighten the nut until you hear a scratching noise. Then slightly loosen the nut until the noise is gone. And finish this Jultron mini repair by putting the nut covers back in place.